Hey everyone, William Strife here with a quick overview of character creation and building and growing your avatar in Fallout 4. In Fallout 4, character creation is boiled down to seven governing special statistics. Strength, Perception, Endurance, Charisma, Intelligence, Agility, and Luck. While these seven special attributes and the points you distribute to them are indeed important to defining the character you play, they have nominal immediate effects and can steadily be improved. Far more important, however, are the perks you choose every time you level up. Perks reach across the board and do things as mundane as increasing a single special attribute by one point to amazing and fun things like rewriting rules, such as pacifying typically hostile enemies. There are a large number of perks available at the beginning of the game, and while that can be overwhelming, believe it or not, not all perks are available at once. The perk system in Fallout 4 is gated off in two ways. First, there are 10 branches for each special attribute, and before you can take a perk in any branch, you must have a minimum value in the associated attribute. In other words, there's a perk branch for 1 point in strength, a branch for 2 points in strength, for 3 points, etc. And that's across the board with all special attributes. The second factor that gates off perks is your overall character level. Moving up any particular perk branch requires that you have a high enough character level to access rank 2, 3, 4, etc. of any given perk. Some of the prerequisite level requirements are evenly paced out, while others have large gaps. A prime example of this is the perk Cap Collector, which has three ranks available at levels 1, 20, and 41, which clearly makes this perk out as an early, mid, and late game modifier. However, there are other useful utility perks for things like lockpicking, which requires you to have 4 points in perception and is level gated at 1, 7, 18, and 41. This means you can't even attempt to pick the highest level difficulty lock until you are at least level 18 and take the corresponding rank of the perk. And the overpowered rank, which makes lockpicks unbreakable, is only available in the very late game at level 41. Each perk branch has different intervals for its level gates, meaning there's no rigid advice to follow for how to plan which perks you take before higher ranks unlock. However, most of the perks unlock their second rank between level 7 and 9. If you're going to be a jack of all trades and just take perks when you can and as they look interesting, this doesn't really matter. However, if you're interested in being powerful and a master in a specific area, you're best off picking five or seven perks you want to go all in on long term. By doing this, you can round out your special stats and take all the perks that really matter to you in the first nine levels of character progression. Then, after you reach levels seven to nine, you can begin to take the more powerful second ranks of the perks you've already invested in as they unlock. Doing this rough seven to nine level rotation of perk upgrades means you'll slowly build a set base of perks to master pro-efficiency and being overpowered. In addition, because the level gates for perks are not set at rigid intervals, there's wiggle room to take other perks you may want to dedicate to or simply get the first level bonus from. This breathing room also lends itself to improving your special attributes with the basic improvement perks at the top of the chart, so you can access additional perks at later stages in the game. As long as you stick with this 7-9 to nine level cycle of picking perks and sticking with them to improve them, you'll find your character design sharpened like the fine edge of a knife, even at low levels. That's all for now, and hopefully I've given you the tools and insight you need to make the best character ever in Fallout 4. Thanks for watching and listening. I'm William Strife, and I'll see you later.